Might not sound like it, but Kylie and I did have a lot of fun <laughs> when we went through Scream Town, the haunted complex in Chaska. Aptly named, right? Yes. You still have time to make your own thrills and chills for Halloween. So joining us now is the creator of Scream Town, Matt Dunn, with some tips on uh, trying to create your own little Scream Town vibe at home, right? Absolutely. Uh, we had a great time out there. It was a lot of fun, and you guys have been having really good uh, crowds out there, too. It was an amazing weekend, and it looks like, from what Mike said, this weekend is going to be great as well. Absolutely. All right, let's start with some of these characters you have down at the end. Yeah, so we're, we're you know, we're giving some tips today for costumes. If you're trying to come up with a, a last-minute costume here, we tell all of our actors at Screamtown, really think about your character. What are you? Who are you? Are you dead? Are you alive? You know, what, uh, it's a great place to start. Right, right? Sure. Dead right. or alive. I ask myself that every morning. Fair question. <laughs> and look at this. Look at this lady. She so looks, is she dead or alive? Right. She would be dead in okay. this she's instance. Dead. But okay. she's a great example of, you know, we've got a wig on this piece as well. Uh, we found this old top hat. This is the mayor of Screamtown. This is a, uh, an old tuxedo that we were able to get on eBay. So if you're looking for ideas, you go online, look at, at Pinterest, figure out you know, what kind of character am I, and then look for those ideas. And when you go out to get that costume, maybe have a couple ideas in mind as well. One of the things that comes to mind from uh, some of the horror movies, creepy dolls, creepy clowns, creepy dolls, and you've got one represented Absolutely. Here too. So if, if you're looking for decorations, hey, maybe you don't have to go shopping for everything. Look around the house if you've got some old dolls. This is a, a bird cage a bird I actually cage. had in my house. I found this on Craigslist. Um, old books, you know, some antiques. Look around what you already have. Uh, maybe the rusty uh, shovel, the wheelbarrow. You know, you can do things with. Items. And this is great stuff, like on that front porch where people are coming up to uh, trick or treat at your house to have Absolutely. this scene kind of set. This is something really cool over here as well. If you're looking for something that's a little more high tech but super affordable, Home Depot has these this year. We've had this product at Screamtown for many years on kind of a higher end. It's a projection that you can do in your window, mm -hmm. and it's got all kinds of things for the whole oh, season. Cool. Some of those those ghostly kind of feathery images. Exactly. Yeah. You put that right in right Super, inside, yeah. so it's in the window. And they're like Neat. 69 bucks. You can almost do every window if you want to, and you can do things as I said for the whole season, Christmas through Halloween. Okay, I love this. A lot of people maybe have like a blender or something that doesn't work anymore. We buy cases of expanding <laughs> foam from uh, Home Depot during the season. This is a great product. You can use it to make everything from prop uh, pieces like this. This is just you know, disgustingness coming out of a blender. But you can also use it on your costume. So if you want to make guts and, and gore, perfect. So this for that. expanding foam is perfect for making guts. Yep. Because I enjoy. I mean, you need the guts. <laughs> what about the blood? Blood, you know, looking there's at, an art. There's an art to creating perfect an art blood, right? To blood, and you can do it with possibly things you might already have. So look at paint you have. We use this. This is paint on here. Okay. Spray paint. Uh, if you, of course, if you get something with a, a, a higher gloss to it, that's mm -hmm. going to look better. So now, we like. People think about ketchup. We've never used ketchup no. before. That, you know, a little pro tip: no. mix in some chocolate sauce. Because blood has a little bit of brownish red color. Are you available for working Just in Screamtown? Do you spend a lot of a time doing this? That would be great. I, I, you know, have a lot of Staging outside interests. Scenes? Nobody needs to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> really great. Matt, Screamtown is fantastic, and we appreciate the tips this Thank morning. Thank you, folks. Happy Halloween.